Something is happening in astronomy that no one knows how to explain, and it began with a single question that has quietly shaken both amateurs and professionals across the world. How is it possible that backyard telescopes, small, portable, inexpensive, are capturing clearer, sharper, and more detailed images of 3i Atlas than NASA's own billion-dollar spacecraft? What started as an odd curiosity has now evolved into one of the strangest scientific discrepancies in recent years. Because in the past few weeks, ordinary observers using equipment they ordered online have revealed structures in 3i Atlas that NASA's official releases do not show at all. Jets, geometry, layered coma structures, strange directional streams extending tens of thousands of kilometers into space. And at the exact same moment, NASA released an image so blurry, so flat, so lacking in detail, that the scientific community immediately began asking why. Why did a space agency capable of photographing individual rocks on Mars suddenly struggle to capture detail on an interstellar comet? Why did amateur astronomers outperform the world's most complex orbital cameras? And perhaps most importantly, what exactly is NASA choosing not to show? Because this story is no longer about a single photograph, it's becoming a test of transparency, of institutional credibility, and of whether the public is finally witnessing the boundaries of what NASA is willing to reveal about 3i Atlas. To understand how we reached this moment, we need to go back to NASA's much-anticipated late October press event. NASA hyped this as the moment the public would finally receive the clearest image ever taken of an interstellar object. High Rise, the legendary camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, had photographed Atlas from Mars orbit. High Rise has captured individual boulders, frost streaks, dust devil trails, details the size of a coffee table from hundreds of miles above the Martian surface. Expectations were enormous. Even NASA scientists teased that the image would be exceptional. Then, the image appeared, and it was nothing. A glow, a smudge, a featureless blur. It showed no structure, no jets, no nucleus detail, no layering. It was a few pixels surrounded by haze. And shock spread almost instantly across social media. Within minutes, amateur astronomers began posting their own images. Images that looked like they came from an entirely different universe. One observer in Spain captured seven distinct jets radiating outward with stunning stability. Another astronomer revealed green diatomic carbon emissions, forward-facing structures, and layered geometry. Chuck's astrophotography released a color-enhanced composite so detailed it nearly broke astronomy forums. And all of this was photographed using equipment that fits in the trunk of a car. Suddenly, the world was staring at a very uncomfortable truth. The highest resolution camera orbiting Mars had produced the worst image, and the cheapest telescopes on Earth had produced the best. NASA tried to explain the delay in releasing the photo by pointing to the government shutdown. But the final image required minimal processing, something a skeleton crew could have posted even during reduced operations. The silence felt less like bureaucracy and more like deliberation. Less logistical, more strategic. It raised a question no one at NASA wanted to hear. Was the delay about the data? Or was it about the message? Because what came next only deepened the mystery. Amateur astronomers began noticing that their images did not simply look better. They revealed anomalies NASA wasn't mentioning at all. Jets pointing toward the sun. Jets firing sideways. Jets that remained perfectly straight and stable even though Atlas rotates roughly every 16 hours. If Atlas were tumbling, those jets should smear across long exposures, forming arcs or spirals. Instead, they appear as laser-straight beams extending tens of thousands of kilometers into darkness. That should be impossible for natural outgassing. Avi Loeb entered the discussion pointing out that to produce jets of that size, 
Atlas would need to lose approximately 13% of its mass in a short burst. Mass that should produce a massive, easily visible cloud. But telescopes showed no such cloud. If the mass was not being lost in the required quantity, then something else was producing the thrust. Something stable, directional, and extremely efficient. Even more puzzling was the brightness curve. As Atlas approached perihelion, it did not brighten gradually. It surged, violently, rapidly, intensely. It became nearly four times brighter than the most optimistic models predicted, and its color shifted from dim red to a bright ionized blue-green. That kind of color change requires temperatures and ionization processes that should tear a fragile comet apart. Yet Atlas remained intact. No fragmentation, no structural failure, no signs of instability. And still, NASA said nothing specific in its press conference. No mention of the directional jets. No acknowledgement of the brightness spike. No explanation for the color shift. Just generalities about interstellar objects and a reminder that unusual behavior does not imply anything extraordinary. But the silence only amplified suspicion. Because unlike previous decades, NASA no longer has the exclusive ability to observe the sky. Today, thousands of amateur astronomers share their raw data instantly. Their findings spread worldwide in minutes. Their results can be verified by others the same night. Astronomy has been democratized. And now, for the first time in history, the public can see exactly what NASA sees, and often more. This shift is forcing a confrontation that NASA never had to face before. Institutions built in an era of centralized control over astronomical data now live in a world where anyone with a mid-range telescope can challenge their narrative. When NASA stays quiet, the public does not wait. They look up, capture the sky themselves, and share what they find. And when official releases do not match independent observations, trust erodes. Researchers behind the scenes have admitted frustration. NASA scientists privately acknowledge that the amateur images show details absent from their official releases, but say they cannot bypass the institutional review process. Meanwhile, amateurs ask why NASA doesn't simply release the raw data immediately, something no review process is needed for. Avi Loeb has taken a more direct stance, saying that NASA should highlight the unexplained behavior rather than downplay it. If an interstellar object shows anomalies, the anomalies should be openly discussed. But instead, the messaging coming from NASA feels increasingly careful, increasingly curated, and increasingly cautious. And 3i Atlas is not the only unusual object in the sky right now. Comet Swand has developed an anti-tail, material pointing toward the sun. Another comet, C2025 K1 Atlas, is fragmenting in real time. Together, these events raise new questions about solar conditions, comet behavior, and whether our models are missing something fundamental. But 3i Atlas remains the centerpiece, the one object whose anomalies are too numerous and too consistent to ignore. As 3i Atlas fades and drifts outward, the window to study it is shrinking. In a few months, it will be too faint for most telescopes. But the data collected, especially the amateur data, will remain. Spectroscopy, orbital modeling, jet analysis, coma profiles and thousands of high-resolution images from around the world will form a permanent record. A record that does not match official messaging. A record that forces new questions about transparency, accuracy, and what NASA chooses to reveal. In the end, 3i Atlas has exposed something far larger than a comet. It has revealed the shifting balance of scientific power. Discovery is no longer controlled by institutions. It is shared, distributed, crowdsourced. And, and when institutions respond cautiously while amateurs capture the truth in real time, it becomes clear who is leading the search for answers. NASA can adapt by embracing openness, by releasing raw data immediately, and by acknowledging anomalies rather than avoiding them. 
or it can continue issuing careful statements while amateur astronomers outpace them night after night. But one thing is already certain. When it comes to 3i Atlas, the clearest images, the most detailed structures, the most shocking discoveries, they did not come from billion dollar spacecraft. They came from ordinary people with telescopes pointed at the sky.